Yes people, what's going on? Back again. Thanks to everyone that watched the last video, man. A lot of comments, a lot of likes. Um, I wanted to watch the video previous to the one, previous to the last one. <clears throat> um, but it's unavailable apparently on the, uh, in the Prophet series uh, playlist. Um, so a lot of people have been asking me to react to Surah Al-Jinn. The Jinn uh, Surah. Um... Because obviously that leads, that precludes the uh, Adam story and how it says how Jinn were created and the problem they had with, Jinn had with Adam and the angels and stuff like that. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to react to, I'm going to watch Surah Al Jinn today um, by Abdul Rahman Al Osi. It's called Beautiful Recitation of Surah Al Jinn. The verbat it's on the verbatim word of Allah, Miraculous Quran channel uh, and then yeah after I watch this I'm going to try and I'll go back to uh, the Prophet series channel not the Prophet series um, yeah I'll go back to the Prophet of Allah series um, but the part that talks about uh, the jinn so I'm going to watch I'm going to listen to Surah Al Jinn first you know in its pure state and then I'll get like you know the breakdowns uh, on the other channel, the Prophet channel, which you know breaks down the Surah and tells the story uh, in a different way with narrations and expanding on points or whatever. But I'll just watch this one first. Um, like, comment, subscribe as always. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> Oh. 
That was um, interesting, Surah. Um, it's basically glorifying God there and saying, you know, don't give partners to God, um, worship one God only. Um, yeah, really interesting. I mean, let's go through it a bit. Yeah, at the beginning talked about the jinn that were trying to listen in um, to heaven. But now they're shooting stars and guards waiting for them when they're trying to listen into heaven. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess that's talking about how you know some of the jinn were once part of the creators, you know, like angels. But now they're kind of they're just uh, separate. They're on their own kind of thing. They've gone down their kind of service to uh, service to self path maybe. And the path of service to God and service to fellow humans is not uh, not there for them anymore, so they can't listen in on on the words of God. It's what it seems like it's kind of saying there. <laughs> Go 
God has neither spouse nor child. You know, we're all creations of God. God is not like a man. So it gives, but who you know has a child, man or woman who you know give birth to a child, conceive a child. It's just you know, exemplifying that you know God's exalted. He's separate from human you know reproductive experience. He created this universe, all the universes, and all the you know all the galaxies, all the solar systems, all the planets, uh, and all the people on that on those uh, planets. They're saying, you know, men have aligned themselves with the jinn in past with evil people and evil doers, thinking that, you know, God doesn't have the power, he doesn't, you know, he wouldn't exemplify his power through like resurrecting the dead or, you know, but, you know, they'll come to find out about the power of God basically is what, what this surah is saying. Is this directly spoken by, I know the surahs are supposed to be directly the word of God, but it seems as though <coughs> the angel Gabriel was speaking on behalf of God. It's saying, you know, you did this and God will show you this. <clears throat> it's not saying, I, the Lord, say that they will see this and this. Um, I don't know if someone can correct me there, but I think, yeah, I guess it was narrated by the angel Gabriel to Muhammad. So it's the angel Gabriel telling him of God's power and stuff. The jinn tried to reach heaven but discovered it to be full of stem guards and shooting stars. Stem guards and shooting stars. <clears throat> Obviously, this conjures up thoughts of like weaponry and defenses protecting like a barrier between the heavenly worlds um, and you know, earth or maybe like the lower heavens. Um, stem guards and shooting stars. Oh, or maybe it's talking about the people that tried to reach heaven through, you know, association with jinn, but then they found it, to, they found themselves guarded from it, and, you know, there was, like, a barrier between them to get, like, you know, preventing them reaching there. Mm. We used to sit in places listening, but anyone trying to listen now will find a shooting star lying in wait for him so they can't they're not privy to God's word anymore so now we do not know whether those who live on earth are due for misfortune or whether their Lord intends to guide them Oof, I think yeah I need some kind of breakdown of this arise it's a bit of a confusing one who are we talking about here what are we talking about hang on are we talking about the jinn? I'm guessing we're talking about the jinn. It says, now we do not know whether those who live on earth are due for misfortune or whether the <clears throat> Lord intends to guide them. Hmm, not sure. Some of us are righteous and others are less so we follow different paths, okay. We know we can never frustrate God on earth, we can never escape him. When we heard the guidance, we came to believe. Whoever believes in his Lord fears no loss nor, just, nor injustice. So now it's talking on behalf of the angels, I'm guessing. You know, when we heard the guidance, we came to believe. Whoever believes in his Lord fears no loss, no, no, no injustice. 
because they're talking about you know not the physical world but you know the hereafter uh, after you know when this uh, when this life ends. Okay, so they're talking about the end times now. Say, so I do not know whether the European war, whether what you have been warned about is near, <clears throat> or whether a distant time has been appointed for it by my Lord. So you know, that's when people ask for them, because they say they're giving guidance for prayer now. They're saying, you know, in the house of prayer, I pray to only one God, or in anywhere, I pray to God, one God. I put no partners with Him. Uh, I find refuge only in God. Any messages I deliver will only be God's messages. When they ask you when the time of judgment that they've been warned about will come um, just say I do not know whether you have been warned about what, I do not know whether what you have been warned about is near or whether a distant time has been appointed for it by my lord so it's just basically saying you know only God knows basically he is the one who knows what is hidden <coughs> He does not disclose it except to a messenger of his choosing. He sends watches to go in front and behind to ensure that each of his messages delivers Lord's message. He knows all about them. He takes account of everything. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that was what I was confused about before when they were talking about a book that knows everything. They were talking about a record of books that has everyone's deeds and everyone's life and everyone's information in. Cool, and that's that. Um, yeah, so really interesting Sarah there. Um, a lot of, uh, you know, it's deep. I mean, it's information that you would expect uh, to be delivered in terms of the difference between the transgressors and those who followed the jinn and the evil and what happened to the jinn and how they were cut off from heaven and cut off from God's word and, you know, when they tried to enter heaven and hear what was being talked about by God, by the angels, by the chosen ones, by the messengers, they couldn't hear anything. Uh, and then it kind of, it's strange, it kind of broke down into, it switched between the point of view from the jinn, then the point of view of the people on earth, then the point of view of the angels, um, and just gave the different, you know, different examples of what you can expect as a believer in the true God or in the true way what you can expect to receive and you know what how to pray and what what you should tell people when they ask when the day of judgment will be or when the the end of this uh this this conscious level that we're living in when it will come just say it's up to god um and yeah it's just warning against you know following the jinn and following the evil way so yeah really good for i really enjoyed that um the next one i'm going to be doing is is the creation of Adam the, on the Merciful Servant channel, Prophets of Allah series. It's the creation of Adam because this kind of sets up the whole story of jinn and the angels and the creation of Adam uh, in terms of what precluded Adam coming to earth, Adam and Eve going to earth. So yeah, next I'll be doing that. Look out for that. I'm probably going to try and record it today. Um, so yeah, thanks people. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.